Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenore, Makeup by Leo here on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning and continuing to support my channel. I truly appreciate you guys. So you guys already know what we're gonna be talking about here, girl. You read the title. Don't play me, girl. We are going to be talking about Rosé Rush. So I call it Rose Rush, but I think it's pronounced Rosé Rush. Bro, we're going to be talking about her today. This is what the packaging looks like. So this is Rosé Rush from Paris Hilton. And girl, let's talk about it. Okay, so for the packaging, it's a nice touch. It's a glitter design very metallic it's super pretty it almost looks like glitter flecks all over but of course metallic and i think that it looks very very pretty very very like just glamorous she lives a very glamorous life so that's expected from a paris hilton i love the packaging i think it's so pretty i love that it has you know one side where it's just you know the name of the fragrance and then on the other side it has a picture of her in a long gown a long pink gown i think the packaging is really really nice i picked this up at ross for 12.99 there's the tag right there so this was 12.99 at ross we're gonna get into what it, the bottle looks like the bottle is really really cute excuse the bottle if it does have fingerprints because i have been testing out this fragrance for you guys i haven't been wearing like a whole bunch of it but i have used quite a bit from it already you can see there here's what the packaging looks like i think it's so pretty it's a ball gown it's metallic up top and then it kind of comes down into like an ombre effect it goes down into like a pink glitter and then down to like a glass bottle so it's kind of like an ombre effect so i think that that's really really pretty i think it's nice that it comes from metallic into the glitter down to nothing when you take the top off this is what it looks like you know the little boobies come off just smelling it straight out the cap you get a lot of rose if you are a person who doesn't like rose you probably won't like this you like bath and body rose i think you would get off to this this is a very pretty scent um, a lot of people don't like rose so this to me it doesn't smell like a vintage rose it smells just like a fresh floral rose so this fragrance here launched in 2017 the nose behind this fragrance is richard heron i think that's how you pronounce his name the top notes are rose petals lychee and neroli middle notes are may rose papaya and peony base notes are white musk amber and cedar so at first spritz you do get the rose like the rose petals it smells good this is not for everybody this is not for the kind of girl who doesn't like to smell florals you're not gonna like it especially if it's more leaning toward like white florals you're not gonna like it if you like more fruitier scents you might not like this this is not fruity at all this does not come off to me fruity the papaya like i don't smell the papaya in this i smell the rose like i get a lot of rose if you've smelled joe von musk it kind of reminds me of that but with like a twist of rose in it it's soft this is a very soft scent it's very feminine very pretty like a pretty girl this is not the type of fragrance that's going to give you a headache this is not headache inducing at all this is just such a pretty soft rosy floral scent very girly very feminine this is an everyday fragrance this is something you can wear to lunch out with your girls you can use this as a daytime scent or if you just want to smell pretty around your man i think this is a pretty scent not everybody likes a rose in their fragrances and this is a rose fragrance so if you don't like rose you're not gonna like this this is uplifting to me this is the kind of fragrance i would say like i would put on and i would feel like bright you know like this is a bright fragrance it definitely gives you like just like a really nice breezy type of floral rose it's just it's so beautiful like i love this i think that it smells 
so pretty i want to say the longevity on this for me it wears a good three to four hours before it starts to fade some celebrity fragrances last longer but it's rare most of the time you're gonna find celebrity fragrances last anywhere between three and four hours it lasts longer like as skin scent so you will smell this on your skin throughout the day this is beautiful to wear every day this is very very feminine just girly just that girl that's just prissy and you know cute this just gives me that kind of vibe i think this is such a pretty scent i think that i like the scent dude i had literally got strips to spray so we can test out the fragrance and i literally just sprayed it into the box but if you don't want to waste paper or anything like that you can go ahead and just use the box and spray it like that but i had <laughs> but i literally had you know strips ready to spray and i still sprayed the box anyways that's just weird even though i'm like going there but overall this is i would give this a 10 out of 10 for me because i do enjoy white florals i love floral scented perfume but for me I don't mind this like this is a very nice uplifting bright kind of scent good for every day daytime use so this is really nice to have in your fragrance collection if you are into fragrances this is something to try if you're into white florals my husband does like this fragrance he thinks it's nice it's like soft it's nothing too over the top like sometimes they'll tell me like babe like you need to like tone it down with the perfume because girl I go ham with it sometimes but he did like this one he says it's really nice like it's a nice scent he didn't say it was like oh that's sexy or anything like that he just said it was a nice scent he liked the he liked the smell of it so if he likes it then i know it's good he'll be honest with me and he'll tell me like oh what are you wearing like that smells ugly or that smells like old lady so i do value his opinion when it comes to fragrances that is it for my review on the rose brush if you check it out if you purchase it let me know down in the comments below or if you have it in your collection and you pull it out let me know down in the comments girl let me know if you like it or what you think of it but for me this is a really nice fragrance to have i think it's a good everyday fragrance and i'm glad that i was able to get it for 12.99 this is the one fluid ounce so it'll last you a little while it's not the big one but it'll last you a while so 12.99 is not bad at all video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i will be seeing you guys in my future videos